Shark bites are actually on the rise around the world. Meteorologist Danielle Giuliano is joining us now to explain why these numbers have increased. Danielle? Yeah, that's right. And oddly enough, Tark, it is could be pandemic related. Today I spoke with the Florida Museum Shark Research Program, and the experts there are not phased by these numbers rising. Last year, there were 73 shark bites, according to the University of Florida. Compare that to 2020, when there were only 52 bites. Believe it or not, the numbers from 2021 are more normal compared to years past. 2020 was actually the lowest documented in over a decade. And Gavin Naylor, director of Florida's museum's shark research program, explains that is partially due to the pandemic and beaches being closed for a period of time. It's really not that at all. Uh, the numbers are back up to where they were before the pandemic. For Florida, black tip sharks are likely responsible for the majority of bites, mostly due to a case of mistaken identity and happen to be less severe than, let's say, a bite from a great white shark, which is more common in Australia. How would you say the numbers of shark bites in Florida compare to other coastal states in the U.S.? Florida has way more than anybody else and there's no doubt about it more than 50 percent of the of the bites in the united states always come from florida but if you look at florida it's a peninsula it's got coast and beautiful beaches and when looking and comparing the florida beaches there are certain spots that see more shark bites than others every year throughout florida Palusia county new Smyrna beach in particular has more bites than anywhere else and uh, it's quite interesting that very, very few of them are very serious. But it's important to remember that sharks are not swimming near shore with the sole purpose to attack people. They're likely following a food source. But I would like to emphasize perhaps on that note that sharks do not seek out humans. If sharks wanted to bite people, my goodness, think of the opportunity. There is no reason to fear the water. Some simple protocols to reduce the risk of a shark bite include swimming with a buddy, staying close to shore, don't swim at dawn or at dusk, and don't swim around people who are fishing.